Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm the sewing specialist here at Fonz & Porter. In this Sew Easy tutorial, I'm going to show you how to piece curves. We have two pieces that go together to create a curve seam in our, our patchwork block. And you can see behind me how dramatic those curves then can become in your quilt top. In order to put those two pieces together, there's a couple little techniques and we'll walk you through those. I have gotten pieces here ready to go. I've already cut my pieces. Now the pieces can be cut with an acrylic template. They can be scissor cut. It's up to you how you approach that. Um, we do have templates available at our website to purchase. We have the background piece. When Marianne and Liz were talking, they would always call this the crust, the outer edge, and this the pie piece. So we're going to be trying to figure out how do we join these together. We have curves and it's a little bit tricky. Now the pieces are in our templates are engineered so that they overlap perfectly along the seam line. So once they're cut, they're going to go together. It's just a couple of steps to take. What we need to do is take those pieces along the curve and we're going to just pinch and make a little crease here. And then I'm going to take this piece and fold again along that curve and just make a little tiny pinch again. And then I can nest them together. I've got one on top of the other and those little V's will go right together, one on top of the other. Now the pinning of this and how to position and which direction should I sew for has always been from, has always been kind of a controversy. But I come to sewing or quilting from a, a construction background and so I tend to put the crust piece or that concave curve on the top. So like this, I've matched up those little spots where I pinched at. We've got the center match. Now it's taking a little tiny bite into the fabric. That means no, don't take a big long um, stab into the fabric, but just a little piece there so that it kind of rotates on that spot, right into the seam line or where your stitching is going to be. Now I need to bring these two ends back and get them in position at the beginning and the end of where I'm going to seam the pieces together. Now here, I'm going to take a bigger bite. When I mean a bigger bite, I mean a big bite like this into the fabric. It will keep that piece from shifting. Now, I want that to stay squared up. I'm going to go to the other side and do the exact same thing. I make sure I'm, this curve edge needs to go to this curve edge. So back and square up that end and take a longer bite again keeping those fabrics aligned there. This is where I need to do my work now. And since they're engineered, they're going to go together. So let's just see how this works. Put it into the machine. We've set it up for a quarter inch seam. And I'm using red thread. You would want to use a more of a matching thread, probably a gray if you're sewing. But so that you can see what I'm doing, start at the edge of your fabric. I'm going to take just a couple stitches right before I pull my pin out so that the needle is lodged in the fabric and nothing's going to shift. And now I'm going to align the cut edges of the curve and sew just a little ways at a time. Sewing curves, first couple, if you've never done them before, are kind of like your kindergarten pieces. They may not be perfect, but practice makes for a gentle curve. Just keep working those edges so they just kiss together at the along the edge, cut edges. We get As we approach the center point, I'm going to take out that pin now. So I know my centers are matched perfectly. You can pick up your presser foot and readjust if you feel comfortable lifting it up. Just try not to pull back too much or you will tend to get a little tuck or a pleat in your fabric there. So just readjust, holding them kind of back with your fingers and a little bit further. If you sew an inch or an inch and a half at a time, that's okay. Your first ones are going to be like that. You'll get faster as you go along. Trust me, I've done an entire quilt with all curved blocks. By the time you get to the end, you're really a pro. Okay, now adjust again. You just kind of distribute that fabric out to the left of your sewing machine. Whoops. There we go and pull out that last pin right as we approach the very end. Everything's held together so the two pieces are the same length. That's what the pins were supposed to be there for. And then as you open it up, you're going to want to press your seam allowances toward the concave, so towards the crust piece here. And we're going to come in 
and work along that curve. I'm just going to pin or use my fingers to kind of scoot back, make sure I get all the way to the stitching line there. And you'll have a perfect curve when you take it to the iron and heat set it and you've got pieces ready for a quilt like this. Curved seams are not so bad after all. If you'd like to see more of our so easy techniques, please visit our website. Thanks for joining me today.